then, hello and welcome back to another episode of Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded. So, in this episode, i uh, gonna be taking on Fun Bubba here. Again, still not entirely sure that that's pronounced correctly, but skills. Uh, I didn't move my cursor in the intermission, did I? Nope. That save menu is oh so handy. So, item. Now for the tedious part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So, if I haven't messed up my grade 1 math, I should have just moved my potions to the top of the menu. Which is important because tonics aren't going to cut it anymore. Gotta put on my big boy pants here. Skills, equip. And I want to equip, not Sabin, but Celeste. Equip. Equip. Top slot, down two, down three, and down one. Twenty-three is number one. <laughs> uh, relic, relic, slash, equip. Uh, it was bottom slot for her. Three down to the wall ring. Now, if I didn't equip the wall ring properly, this entire run is going to go kaput really fast. Seven. Equip. So, top slot. One, two, three. And all the way down to the bottom. Hero ring. There we go. Now, if the hero ring doesn't get put on properly somehow, that'll waste time. Yep, I suppose it's not the worst thing that could happen, but I prefer to keep this as short as possible. Celeste is geared up with entirely magic gear because she'll do a whopping 60 more damage that way. And I might as well take the 60 more damage because there's really no benefit to the defense. Solar Plexus is just going to murder my face off no matter how much defense I can stack on at this point. And his regular attack isn't going to kill me either way. It's in that... It's 80-ish with max armor. One, two, three, four. And it's... Uh, oh yeah, I'm running to the top here. It's 80-ish with max armor, and it's not going to be enough to kill Celeste with this armor, so... It's not even a massive defense drop to begin with anyway. Left one, down... Yeah, hopefully going down the staircase now. Gotta walk for a while though, just in case. Alright, now down a ways. Up and left some more. Go listen. There we go. Made it to this room in the middle of nowhere. Oh yeah, right. I have to take a step forward or so before the kid uh, starts blabbing and everybody starts going like, Oh man, it's Tara. Can't believe it. Somebody opens the door, but I think uh, they shut it again, so... <laughs> Fine with me. As long as I have my door noise at the end of the day when all is said and done doesn't matter whether it gets closed temporarily in the meantime. Left one. And now cutscene, yay. The good news is, Fun Bubba is pretty much a purely mechanical fight on my end. As if I don't make a mistake, I will win. But, well, I shouldn't say that entirely. A critical hit physical attack is the thing most likely to mess me up, because I can't take two physical attacks. So a crit will kill someone when I'm not expecting it. That's probably it. That's probably the only thing that can go wrong. Because if he kills someone and I'm expecting it, I'll just revive them. And if he doesn't kill anyone, well, okay. <laughs> not gonna complain. Exactly. I'm pretty sure this cutscene is silent. There's nothing until, yeah, the music comes back on. So... I don't get any notification at all that people are dying. 
in a flashback at least, for that matter. So when I can go into my menu, it's easy navigation out of here. Thankfully the majority of the NPCs are crammed out in a little corner where I don't need to even go to, so <laughs> that makes it very nice actually. They're blocked by that staircase which acts as a waist-high fence I suppose. Okay, next time I can know to just wait for the music to fade out if I fail here. Out the door. Right down. Oh no, here comes the fun boba. That should be enough. I'm just gonna start mashing the button. Any second now we should hear that clomp clomp clompiness. Okay, never mind, we're gonna hear the unforgiven first. <laughs> Whoops. Oh my gosh, Terra! Terra's on the. Uh, Terra's in the game now! I think you're gonna die now, Fun Baba! Get ready to be owned! Oh, this physical attack! Oh! <laughs> combo combo! <laughs> oh, look at all that zero damage! Oh no, I'm dead! What'll I ever do? Okay, now hopefully I'll get to preempt him. That would be very helpful. Well, I didn't get to preempt him. Which means that we're going to be having a couple people potion themselves. Potions. Menu trick during Sabin's turn, so I should have time to get into Norbold. Gotta go fast, and Funbaba is going to use Bolt too, so I'll stay out of my menu for the moment and give him time to waste time to give Seven a chance to go. Alright then, one, two, three, four. Poison spell. Go! I choose you. One, two, three. And then I'll have Celeste throw out another poison spell. Celeste and Sabin are about the same speed, and I know Sabin preempts her. It's important knowledge. Alright, now nothing, don't do anything. Dang it. Sabin's dead. That's okay, I know what's going on. And now Sabin is very much no longer dead. He can only kill one person at a time, so as long as I stay on the ball and don't mess up, Someone got smacked, hopefully it was Celeste. I'll know for sure in a second. And it was indeed Celeste. I don't think menu tricking during Sabin's turn is any much of an aid there. I didn't have I don't have enough time, I'm pretty sure, but. Doesn't hurt to try. I was wrong, in fact. I did have enough time to get Sabin's turn in. Celeste is on the item, I'm pretty sure. Yes, she is. Poison spell the casting. Seven mini trick. Not sure where I exited the blitz menu there, but Celeste will have time to get in another poison. Unfortunately, I forgot to po buy the poison clause, which would have made this a little bit faster. Not a whole lot faster, but a little bit faster. Alright, let's wait. Dang it. Seven was the one to survive. Phoenix down on Celeste. Let's see how this goes. Best case scenario is physical attack on Seven. Not very high odds, but... Okay, Solar Plexus on Celeste. That's not too bad, actually. Phoenix down her again. And this turn I get a freebie, because he'll only cast a spell on this turn, which really doesn't help him out that much, I'll say. Seven should still be at full, which means I'll have time to... ...more bolt, and then have... Oops. And then have Celeste heal, because the advantage to having Celeste heal is that I don't use as much MP. Which is nice and handy, and now Seven will get to go again. 
yay planning, instead of just jumping the gun and having Seven do it and go all panic mode. Like I said, it's a mechanical fight, so I don't need to worry too hardcore. Don't want to jump the gun here. And with good reason? Well, that didn't really matter. After all, Celeste would have died either way. Bad case scenario would have been Seven got solar plexus and I used a spell, then things could get very hairy. Smack. Hopefully it was on... Yes, it was on Seven. So now I need to heal them both. Potion. Because I menu tricked? Ah. Right after I was talking about jumping the gun. Now Celeste is going to be the one to get an extra turn. Poison him. Oh wow, turns out she didn't get one either. I'm surprised. Uh, didn't think he'd beat me there, but he did after all. Whatever, three more attacks. That easily cuts his through his pseudo region of 150 purple two spell that he throws out. Nice. He's blocked a solar plexus. And yes, I know it was a solar plexus because that was turn three, and he can't use a physical attack on turn three. Just in case somebody was about to call shenanigans on that little exchange. Smack. Okay. Potion, because I can't tell who got hit. Potion again. I don't know if Celeste will have time, but I'll try my best. No pain in this case can happen- it can come from messing up here. Darn it. Set the pain of failure, I suppose. Alright, I think he's probably getting somewhat close. Alright. Dang it. Well, Seven's dead. I'm almost tempted to throw a poison spell at him to see if he dies, but... You know, I could very well die from that, too, so... <laughs> that was a smack, so we'll see if Seven comes up first. Seven, that is you, in fact. So, uh, are you on items or blitz? You're on blitz. Well, both my characters should be alive still. Potion Celeste, and then I'll have Seven ready to use a blitz at a moment's notice. Wasn't fast enough, but ah, what a shame. You are in your item menu. Let's cast some poison. She didn't run out in my test run where I didn't waste a whole bunch of MP on slow, so hopefully she won't run out here, crossing my fingers. Nice! Use bolt three on turn three. Lucky break. I mean, you bolt two. You can't use bolt three on turn three. Only on turn two. Because I only use reflectable spells that won't hurt you turn. And turn one is his. I'm gonna use physical attacks turn. Oh, what a shame. I was going so well. Oh wow, I'm being an idiot. Don't want to start turning on the idiot now. Gotta be close. I'm not gonna heal this time. I'm just gonna stick to my guns and go for it. Okay, this is seven.
poison, and then stab him again. This is this can have negative consequences if my prediction is wrong, but a lot less negative consequences. Ah, shoot. Didn't quite make it. I mean, I could always try throwing out one more oracle, but that might be a little bit silly. Alright, don't want to jump the gun here. Just let him go. Hang on, what? He used a physical attack there. I must have been miscounting his turns. Oh wow, uh, Seven might have died from that. He must have been the one at low HP from before. Shoot. down him. He'll waste his turn. Uh, you should be on Blitz. Oh, now he dies. What a waste of a tincture. <laughs> oh, well, it's not like I don't have, like, 40 of those. Whatever. Like I said, purely mechanical fight. Because I don't need to make any weird judgment calls or anything. When he does this, do this. When he does that, do that. Easy as pie. So, now I can just walk downwards. Because his reflected spells do nothing, and all his other attacks pretty much just kill someone. <laughs> and I can always determine who's dead. I can never determine who got hit, but it doesn't really matter, because I can just heal them both. Now I've just got to get out of here, and we are completely completed. Funnily enough, this is... Now that I think about it, I believe the only time in the game that it is possible to be behind this door and open it from the back. Which is, I suppose, normally completely useless observation, but during testing I realized this. And I'm sure you all care so much. Now I'm gonna wait for this guy to give me a shiny stone worth millions. Thanks, dumb kid, you could have had a fortune on eBay, but... This works too. I can know when I get out of here. All the way right. Left and up. Right will get me up the staircase after this. Right. Go up that staircase, Celeste. Actually, no. And the LLG Sabin's out front, which I should know because uh, Sabin's at the top of my battle. Although I don't really know, need to know that because whether I press up or down, I'm going to target the other person with a Phoenix Down Slash Potion, so it's not really exactly excessively important information for me to have. Pretty sure I can go either right and down, or down and right here. But, I'll mentally flip a coin and go right and down. There we go. I'm out of there. All the way down. Doesn't matter if I took a step right or down, which I could have possibly taken a step either way by a mistake. But it do makes no difference, because I still have to end up against this wall. I guess barrier between ground and ocean is not exactly a wall, per se. But... I mean, theoretically, I should just be walking off and just drowning... That would be a very sad, sad ending to Final Fantasy VI. Just, oops, you walked off a cliff and drowned. It would be like King's Quest, I guess. <laughs> Whoopsie daisies, accidentally slipped off that cliff. You're dead now. There we go. I am out. So, I believe I'm still on the relic venue. 
And that's it for that. That took 20 minutes. Wow, shoot. That was longer than I was expecting for this segment. But I guess it, that boss seat fight was a little bit tedious without the poison claws and cutscenes were long. So, see you next time.